Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 45. Today we're continuing our training inside of the Design Zapplet, but we're going to switch assets from print to social. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can create professional looking social designs for use Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and elsewhere, both on posts and paid ads. So let's dive into it. We know that our paintbrush icon here is our designs applet. And we're going to go into create design. Today we're going to choose social and click on next. When we do that, we get back into the Wee Brand Editor and we have the same categories and subcategories that you can see here on the left hand side. And yet when we go into these, we're going to be greeted first off with all of our social based templates. It's still showing us our print based templates, but for today, we're going to focus on these three categories. That is a social wide, social square and social stories. So if we start with social wide, we're going to see, hey, this is best for use on Twitter, Facebook ads and LinkedIn ads. It gives us the pixel dynamics and the aspect ratio. We can then check on social square. This one is much better for use on Instagram, Facebook posts and LinkedIn posts. And then, of course, we have social stories, which are best for use on Instagram and Facebook stories. So if we go back to social square and select one of these assets, we'll click on the use button. It is exactly the same editing process as it has been in our last three videos. So we are still looking at basic text boxes. You can see we've got several of those in this design. We've got a photo. We've got a logo. And then we've even got some shapes here. So we've got a red box behind this text box here. So again, the editing process exactly the same. We want to come in. Let's say we want to change this photo. We can still connect to the KWLS just as we could with our print based assets and search for a listing. We know this is a picture of someone's kitchen, but it's not our kitchen. So let's go find our listing. We'll select that. We will highlight the photo. You can see we've got it highlighted because we've got the blue box around it. And we want to trade that out for a picture of the kitchen of our listing. So whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Remember, if you do that, you can just delete. Highlight the photo again and then make sure you're clicking on that circular arrow button to replace the image. From here, I could go in and change out our logo. I would change out the address. I would change out the details on the bedroom, bathroom, square footage, price, year built. Remember on our text boxes, we're just looking for our half open Hershey bar here, the typewriter key. We can go in and make changes there pretty easily. Once that's done, the only main difference, right, we are going to want to come in and change this out, our title of our asset, just so that we found my circle just listed. And this was a social post. And once we've got our design titled, we want to make sure that we download it for use. And here is a small change. So in the past on our print based stuff, we've been doing PDF. We want to change that to either JPEG or PNG. I'd recommend PNG as long as the place that you're uploading will accept them. They are a little bit bigger of a file size. Um, if you have to have a smaller file size, then obviously you could use JPEG. But we're going to choose PNG, high quality, and click on download. And you'll see that we begin to download and then our asset is now downloaded. Now, two different things to call back to earlier challenges. If you remember back on, let's see, when was that? Uh, day 28, we talked about scheduling social posts. Well, this is now an asset inside of our design library. You can see that here, here's that social asset. So when we go back and create a social post using campaigns, we can now asset, uh, excuse me, access, access, there you go, this design inside of our designs library. If we had created something for a, uh, instead of using a social post design, we used a social ad design, then we might throw it back to uh, days 32 and 33 when we were building out our single image and multi-image ad campaigns for the paid ad experience. 
we could access these designs there as well. So you can start to see some of the interconnectivity between designs and campaigns. We talked about that previously with postcards and print-based or direct mail-based campaigns. Now you can see the connectivity between social designs and paid or social post-based campaigns. So that's it for today, guys. A quick walkthrough of our social assets available inside of the Designs applet of KW Command. As always, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.